They really are. They really are. This has been an incredible race, incredible start to the new sprint here at MotoGP. We thought it was good in Portimao seven days ago. This feels like it's just ramped up another notch, doesn't it? It is still the remarkable bender that leads. We remind you, not that we need to, that he started this sprint down in 15th place. We kind of discounted it, didn't we, before the, before the start. And within two or three laps, he was at the front at the moment. He looks so, so comfortable, so assured. Absolutely, KTM RC16 on rails at the moment for Binder. Four laps to go. He's still leading. Bottle. Binder's now extended his lead in the first sector to six tenths of a second. Marini looks faster. He just can't outbreak his fellow Italian. If he could, could he chase after Binder? Yeah, Binder has now built up that decent lead. He knows he doesn't have to take any kind of significant risk. He's, he's escaped all this drama going on behind him, hasn't he? Which has involved the likes of Betseki, Banyaya, Marquez, Alessia Spargo. Hasn't gone the way of the factory of Brilliers. They're only two seconds just over behind Brad Binder, but still down in seventh and eighth place. Here is Marine then. He finally gets through. He's been waiting and waiting and waiting. He runs a little bit. Three to go here in the tenth place. But the Muni VR46 Ducatis battling amongst each other, but they both, particularly Betseki, look like they've got the pace to chase after Binder, but they're running out of time. He's got to get through here on Marini. Side by side, they go down the sixth gear sweep. About 345 kilometers an hour now. Betseki had to do that. If he's going to have any hope of hunting down Binder, he had to make that move rapidly on Marini. He wasted no time whatsoever, did he? So now then, it's all eyes on Betseki in second place. They come through sector two now. He's just under a tenth of a second behind Binder. He's got two and a half laps. Time on side. Oh. 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 Two laps to to go when they cross the line next time round and they'll be watching through the gaps in their fingers at KTM because this sprint began they would never have dreamt of challenging for a victory but Brad Binder is now just two laps away from it and he's got Marco Betzecki chasing him down at a rate of knots. I can't believe we've only got 23, 21 sprints this year. We want more don't we? This has been absolute to eight tenths of a second. Last lap of a classic sprint here. Marini along with him. Marini just locked on to the rear wheel of his teammate. He's probably best to sit there for the moment and just follow his teammate up towards Brad Binder who is so so good in the first sector of this lap he's able to eke out a little bit of time on Betzecki behind this group more with Brad Binder what a job absolutely sensational he took it at the checkered flag from Marco Betzecki by just seven hundredths of a second Betzecki need the 13 lap sprint